the fame-grubbing celebrity attorney Lisa Bloom was further disgraced, as if that were possible, by the revelation she sought to make payments to various women in exchange for accusing Donald Trump of sexual misconduct. That is, of course, embarrassing. It's growth, grossly unethical. Could it also be illegal? Mark Fitzgibbons is an attorney and a fundraising law expert, and he joins us tonight. Um, so, Mark, you've said that this may present a problem with the FEC. What would the problem be? It's a potential problem. Uh, the FEC regulates campaigns spent to influence elections, and this appears to be clearly intended to influence an election. Now, that does not mean uh, this falls within uh, FEC regulation. For example, uh, we don't want to discourage people from coming out before an election and saying uh, a candidate for office committed some unlawful act. We don't want to discourage that by requiring reporting. Right. However, uh, the amounts of money here, and we're, we're, it's, it's ironic that the left is so uh, adamantly against dark money. Here we have the left, presumably the left, engaging in use of dark money. It may be somebody uh, other than associated with the left. It could be uh, some Republican who didn't want or Trump. whatever. I mean, whatever. it was it was designed to affect an election outcome. Therefore, you think it would fall under that category? Absolutely. So, so leaving aside FEC questions, wouldn't the bar have something to say? I mean, all lawyers, of course, are members of the bar. This seems like unethical conduct. Why wouldn't the bar be taking this up? I think this is unethical conduct. There are certain circumstances in which a lawyer or may pay a fact witness. Uh, for example, if you need uh, the fact witness to travel, those are the exceptions to the rule against uh, or, or prohibiting payment to fact witnesses. This goes beyond paying somebody to travel to, uh, to appear and testify. This is a lot of money. Uh, this was uh, proposed money from an undisclosed source uh, to testify about allegations of uh, unlawful conduct. I think Ms. Bloom has uh, potential ethical problems with the with the bar association. But they're going to do. I mean, they never do anything, do they? they to police their. I mean, what's the point of having a bar? You never hear of any lawyer disciplined by the bar for lying, for example. Uh, you, you're correct, uh, Tucker. And, and uh, uh, the bar association may tend to protect its own a little bit too much. But I think this is a good example of a time when the bar association does need to step in, because if we are allowing lawyers to pay witnesses to testify about facts outside the rules that currently authorize it for a limited number of exceptions, uh, then we're going to have chaos in society. Well, how could you get to a just process if you're paying people? Uh, th that is correct. It, 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 it tempts people to lie. If you're being uh, paid to testify, it tempts people to lie. <laughs> you think? I think. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Mark, thank you for that. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.